My name is Salome Kaljaert, I'm a senior designer at the Arab Engineering Firm. I've been working on a research project that was looking into applying additive manufacturing for structural components in buildings. The project I've been working on is actually a tensegrity structure and normally a tensegrity consists of different modules so it's relatively simple and it's repetitive but our design together with the architect was a very irregular structure and because of that um, all the nodes, all the elements that were connecting the struts to the cables were all different. So we came up with 1200 different designs. We designed them in a way that all the elements were cut separately and welded by hand. But it did inspire us to look a little bit further, thinking there must be a better way of actually uh, producing these things. And that's the reason we started looking at additive manufacturing as a way of producing uh, for the building industry. So uh, this is what we call a node, and it's actually connecting the other elements of the structure together. So these points are in different places, and the position of the ribs is on different places. And this is uh, the 3D printed version, or we like to say additive manufactured version. I think the main difference is all the holes in there, and that is uh, yeah, the reduction of the material actually, because you don't need all that. This is exactly what you need. And I think that in itself is a great potential because if these elements become lighter, all the other elements can become lighter as well. So that it's not only can result in different shapes of buildings, but also lighter buildings, you need less material, less transport costs, etc. So this is just the first example. It's not uh, ready to be used in architecture tomorrow. We are very hopeful that it will be at some point and I think relatively soon as well. I think that it can definitely have a big impact on the, the visual appearance of the world we live in. The technique is allowing us to create new things, come up with new ideas, uh, but it's not doing it by itself. Of course, we need the, the architects and the engineers and designers to, uh, yeah, to be inspired by it.